Hi Taurus, welcome to your Spirit Guide messages for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Taurus, we're going to take a look at what Spirit wants you to know at this time. So we'll see what we get for you, Taurus. Welcome everybody. I hope everybody's staying uh, safe and healthy at this time. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. General collective reading, not a private reading. So let's see what Spirit has for Taurus at this time, what you need to know. I'll be getting three oracles from each deck, then I'll be clarifying, clarifying the oracles uh, with the tarot there. So let's see what we have for Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus at this time. If you would like a private reading, all that information is below in the description box. Decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for a private reading. Um, tons of stuff down there, so feel free to check it out, Taurus. All right, Taurus, let's see what we have for you. Spirit messages for Taurus. Thank you so much. What are the three? Oh, we've got two. I'll take that one. I'm going to pull all the oracles first, and then we'll look at them, and then we'll pull some tarot on each one to further clarify. So we have the fairies, we have the mermaids, and we have the unicorns. So we're doing kind of like a mythical, magical kind of energy this month. <clears throat> For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective. What are the three most important messages that you want to give Taurus at this time, Spirit? Thank you so much for the collective. Three, okay, that one definitely wanted to come out. Three most important messages. All right. Let's get the unicorns here for you, Taurus. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome in. Uh, check out my channel, like what you see, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, you won't miss out. And I do about four readings a month for uh, each sign, they're all different, so there's something for everyone. Um, and if you do, subscribe, hit the bell, um, welcome and thank you, and welcome to the family. Alright, get your energy in here. Alright, Taurus, let's get three unicorn messages for Taurus. Okay, one... Let's see, a few more. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's see what spirit has for you, Taurus. We got, I'm feeling this one first. That way. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we have. We have honoring your true feelings. This has been coming a lot, a lot, out a lot for all the signs. So this is about honoring how you truly feel inside, listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, and trusting in that and honoring how you truly feel about something and not putting on a false mask or facade or pretending just to satisfy others or appease others. It's being true to who you really are in your feelings and your beliefs and not being afraid to stand up for that. Again, we may get um, a lot of different messages here. Uh, the last reading I did was for Virgo. It was like one big message and that happens sometimes. Sometimes you get nine little different messages, sometimes two or three. So please only take the messages that resonate for you. Um, if you feel like none of this is resonating for you, again, you can go back and watch past readings. I do consider them all timeless, even though they're dated. Find your spirit messages in your general link down below in the description box. And feel free to browse the channel for our past readings, uh, different signs in your chart, and uh, you know maybe something that will resonate for you. So let's see what we have. We have Raising your standards. So some of you may need to... Uh, I'm not so much getting like you yourself internally. It's about raising your standards and raising the bar towards others. Like, <clears throat> you know, having higher standards than those around you. You know, maybe you're lowering yourself or to appease, like I said, others or those around you. Um... You know, maybe being around people that are in low vibrations or take advantage of you or use you or whatever here. It's time to, like, raise your standards and say, okay, no more and, like, stand up for yourself is kind of what I'm getting. It's like raising your standards for others and saying, okay, if you don't meet this criteria, the standard, you know, I'm no longer going to let you use me, abuse me, talk to me in this manner or whatever. You know, not abuse, but, like, take advantage of you. It's time to you know, hold, you know, hold yourself up and uh, raise your vibration and put up a little bit of wall, a little bit of a wall against maybe certain people or situations. 
That's kind of what I'm getting with that. And then we have here visualization. I can never pronounce this word. So this is visualizing what you want, what you, you know, what you want in your life, what you want your future to be like, what you embody or dream your life to be like, uh, your vision. It could be about anything, a new job, a career, a move, uh, a relationship, you know, visualizing what your soulmate would look like. Um, just like visualizing like the perfect life that would be perfect for you, no matter what that is. So never give up hope and continue the dream and visualizing, whatever that may be. And we have here, accept heaven's help. You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. So, and here's all the, you know, doves here for peace, harmony, and joy. So if you've been putting out prayers, manifestations, positive affirmations, it's time to just let, like, the universe do its magic and answer your prayers to bring you what you're uh, hoping for. All right, so what do we have here? Father healing. Your personal power increases as you give any father-related issues to heaven. So some of you may have... Um, <clears throat> you can be a father. You know, again, I say this is for mother... For mother. <laughs> some of you maybe are a mother. For male or female. But it does say father healing. So I'm feeling like if you're a female... There may be something with the father issue you may need to heal, whether they are still here in the physical or not, if they've passed on. There may be some sort of issue or some sort of trauma or something like that from of the past or when they were still here that may need healing. If they are still here, maybe there's something between you two that need to be healed. Uh, maybe they need healing. Maybe they need help, guidance, uh, intervention so they can heal so that your uh, relationship can be stronger. Uh, for those of you who are fathers that are watching this, maybe there's something in your life you need to heal so you can be a better uh, father also. So however that resonates for you, so I'm getting a lot of different messages there, so take the messages as they resonate for you. It could be a father, someone who's like a father figure, grandfather, you know, or something like that. You know, and it's time to heal it and just release that energy so we can move on because your happiness is right here with the sun but it's like you're not even looking at it you're still like wallowing in this very emotional energy that needs to be healed and water is very healing also um energy but i see mountains there so there still may be a mountain of emotions you still need to climb to get over to the other side to bask in the sun this happiness joy expansion in your life, if that makes sense. Okay, so what do we have here? Stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. So this is about being in a positive mindset. Whatever you're visualizing here, your dream, uh, your wish, whatever, is telling you here to stay optimistic because heaven's help is coming in here with your prayers that you've been visualizing to stay optimistic here. So I'm getting like a lot of different messages here. So far, we have a lot of different messages. So please, like I said, only take the ones that resonate for you. Not every message may be for you. Or, you know, it could be somebody around you. Maybe that needs to hear a message here. So however it resonates for you. You could have a Taurus in your life. And these could be uh, their energies. <coughs> Sorry. Just need a drink there. So let's see. Believe in yourself, see yourself doing well, and you will. So again, believing in yourself, what you're visualizing, letting heaven step in here. They've heard your prayers and to stay optimistic and believe in what you're visualizing in yourself and see yourself manifesting and uh, having your uh, dreams and wishes come true here. And then we have here happy thoughts. To feel happier right now, think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. So again, being in that positive, there's the sun again. But again, we have all these clouds in the way. We have the mountain here. We have the clouds in the way. Uh, feeling foggy um, kind of energy. Maybe your th thoughts are fogged right now to your happiness. I feel like there's still mountains of emotions you need to climb, whether or not it has to do with a father healing. It could just be you as a person. Maybe you are a father. And maybe there's something within you that you need to heal, whether 
it is uh, associated with a father or not. It could be anything here that you need to heal <clears throat> so you can believe in yourself and be that better uh, person that you want to be. Again, like I said, may or may not be for everybody, but right now, happy thoughts. I mean, just thinking of happy, good times um, in your life at one point in time, um, you know, family, friends, to help you uh, get in a high vibration and more positive mindset, to be optimistic. So we have grandparent. This just came out for, I think it was Virgo. So we have grandparent again. You have a special bond with a grandparent that can never be broken. So some of you, again, I feel like, and it could have to do with a father healing, where it's a grandfather that uh, something needs to be healed within that relationship, whether they're here or not. You know, if it was something from the past, maybe it was something they did, or maybe it was their lifestyle, maybe they weren't always there for you. Uh, maybe some of you had a father missing out of your life and you depended on your grandfather to be that father figure sort of in your life and maybe they weren't there either. Um, so again, or this could be telling you if you've had a grandparent pass over, they are with you, um, watching over you. I feel like watching over you, uh, guiding you, helping you, they're by your side. It's a bond that can never be broken. So some of you could have a special bond with a grandparent, whether they're here or not. Maybe they took the place of your actual father. But there's something with the father here that needs to be healed. <clears throat> All right, so let's clarify these energies for you, Taurus. Spirit, please, thank you so much. Let's clarify these energies for you here, Taurus. Someone rising in this Jupiter, male or female, general collective. Spirit, please, show me what I need to see for Taurus. To clarify these energies for... Taurus Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is honoring your true feelings? For Taurus, please. Thank you so much. If you're interested in the decks I'm using, I don't know if I mentioned that. They are listed below. <clears throat> Let's see what we have for you, Taurus. So we have the Nine of Swords and the Five of Swords. Wow. So the Nine of Swords, stress, fear, worry, anxiety. Five of Swords is like competition. Um, it's kind of like Okay, do I fight? Do I give up? Is this a losing battle kind of energy? <clears throat> can also be about ego kind of energy also. So some here, you know, having stress, fear, worry, anxiety about giving up a battle or to keep fighting on. Is it a losing battle? Is it worth my time anymore? And uh, not sure what to do here, being very stressed about that. So honor your true feelings. If you feel like this isn't worth fighting for, it's just, you know causing you too much stress, worry, fear, and anxiety <clears throat> more than anything, then maybe here it's, you know, honor your true feelings. If you feel like, you know, it's not worth my time anymore, it's a losing battle, it's just not worth it, it's too much strife in my life, too much just stress and anxiety, you know, maybe time here, honor those true feelings. It's a lot of um, swords here. So it's a lot of mental energy. So I feel like this is very exhausting. It's very mentally ex exhausting. It's just not worth it anymore, whatever that is for you. Yeah, conflict here. So fight, competition, argument, conflict. So something here is causing you a lot of uh, either arguing with somebody or people around you. Could be work. Could be just friends in a social circle. Not seeing eye to eye. <clears throat> but we do have the nine of wands here. Uh, which is about perseverance, not giving up, being the wounded warrior, and keep going on. So I feel like this is like going in a new direction to perse persevere on. <clears throat> Honor your true feelings. If you feel like you need to move on from something here that's no longer worth your time, uh, maybe time here to honor those true feelings. Whatever that is for you, if you're not seeing eye to eye anymore with a certain group of friends or in a social circle or like... Getting more like some sort of social environment, whether it's work or it's like a group of friends or even like a social group on Facebook. It's like, you know, you, you know, there's a lot of bickering or not seeing eye to eye or, you know, it's more troublesome, you know, then, you know, leave, leave that group, you know, find a new group, <laughs> go in a new direction. I mean, however that means for you. All right. So we have raising your standards. And again, I feel like it goes with that. You know, raising your standards, like, don't put up with it anymore. Not putting up with things anymore that 
uh, just take advantage of you. So the Eight of Cups, so yeah, walking away from something no longer fulfilling, going in a new direction. Page of Wands, so this could be good news coming in, an offer or something exciting, um, communication about something new, exciting, um, idea, creative project. This could be like, um, could even be new friends or a new social circle or somebody new that comes in, offers sort of new idea, create a project, uh, ignite something uh, exciting in you. Um, maybe this person um, is very exciting. And I don't mean like in a romantic way, just somebody that you find very enticing, exciting. They've done a lot in life. They're very passionate go-getter. Uh, they have a lot of experience. And you like really find a lot of fulfillment in being around their energy, learning new things. Um, having, you know, fiery, passionate communication about different things in life. It's somebody, and this is somebody that could probably, you know, they probably have their own business or they're very well off. They don't need to, you know, borrow money from you or waste your time or anything like that. So I feel like moving in a new direction here and, <clears throat> you know, going towards people that have more of a higher standard than those maybe you've been associating with, if that makes sense. All right, so what is this visualization for you, for Taurus? Now, remember, these are all messages from Spirit, so um, this is sort of like advice, guidance of what you need to know right now. So what is this visualization here? So we have Temperance and the Three of Swords. So, so you know, Three of Swords about heartache and pain here, but we have Temperance here, which is a very healing energy. It's patience. It's, you know, balance, peace, and harmony. So whatever <clears throat> pain or heartache you've been through here, it's still holding out a visualization for the future. Like, don't give up hope, even though you may have had a lot of sadness, hurt, and pain, whatever that may be in your life, being feeling like you've been stabbed in the back um, kind of energy. It's like, don't give up hope for the future. Just be patient. This is divine healing, uh, peace, harmony, and joy, and balance to remain balanced. And the temperance angel here always brings in something that's divinely guided for you, whatever that may be. So whatever you're holding out for, this is like, don't keep up the visualization of something you have in your future. Even though you've been through uh, a lot of heartache and pain here. Don't give up hope. Something will come in for you here that's divinely guided. That will bring you peace, harmony, joy, balance. Just be patient. Maybe hard, feeling like you've been stabbed too many times, but don't give up hope here. Keep visualizing your future. All right, Taurus, however, that makes sense for you. So, we have accept heaven's help. If you've prayed for help, you've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. So, what is that about for Taurus spirit, please? Thank you so much. One more. All right, you're feeling that one right there. So we have judgment and we have the Queen of Wands. So this is like the universe hearing your call here, hearing you blow your trumpet here and praying for help. Now judgment's coming in from the universe, deciding on your prayers and to grant you your wish here so you can have transformation. So this is about forgiveness, healing, um, it can be about resurrection, a decision, a final judgment call. So I feel like this is heaven here, hearing your prayers and answering them with the trumpet here. And this is the Queen of Wands, a very fiery, passionate, Kim Queen doesn't matter, you know, very fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy, drive ambition. So whatever prayers are coming in here, you know, the universe has made the judgment call. This is like universal alignment, bringing in for you what you've prayed for so that you can be in this Queen of Wands energy. Very uh, fiery, passionate, going after what you desire, um, having that driving ambition to move forward. So, judgment here, it's coming in. All right, so Father Healing, your personal power increases as you give any Father related issues to heaven. So, a lot of different messages I got with that card. So, let's see what we get. Take it how it resonates for you. So we have here, wow, the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. 
So the Eight of Wands is about taking action, travel, movement, and the Ace of Pentacles is a very stable new beginning. It's grounded, it's secure, it's stable, growth, expansion for the long term. So I feel like somebody needs to take action here to heal something in a father-related issue. Um, it could be, you know, someone like a father figure, um, not necessarily your own father, however that resonates for you, or you yourself as a father reaching out to someone that you know you need to heal something with or within yourself, which will lead you to the Ace of Pentacles, like a divinely guided new beginning of stability, growth, expansion for the long term, being much more stable and grounded for the future days to come for the rest of your life. But it all starts with someone taking action here and move in that direction of healing, however that means for you. So that's what I get with that. This is the power increasing. This is about growth and, and abundance. But someone needs to take action. Maybe you've been waiting for that person to take action. But it may be time now for you, just for yourself, to take action, to see what can be healed, what can be resolved. And then just leaving the rest, whatever it is, just leaving the rest and then just moving on in this path of uh, total abundance for the future. How that means for you. So let's see. Stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. So let's see what that is for Taurus. What does it stay optimistic about for Taurus, please? So we have, wow, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is about, you know, a feeling like giving up the burdens, like just laying it all down and saying, you know, I, I'm, I just quit. I can't do it anymore. But then here's the Ten of Pentacles coming in saying, you're almost there. This is about completion. Tens are about completions. So don't give up the fight yet. Don't throw it all down yet and say, I give up with the Ten of Wands energy. It's just too much pressure, too much burden. I just can't do it anymore. Because your Ten of Pentacles is almost here. Total growth, abundance for the future. Having everything you need, never having to worry. You know, leaving a legacy for generations to come. Uh, total happiness, joy within the family dynamic. Being total, abun totally abundant and never having to worry. That's all coming in. Don't give up yet with the Ten of Wands and just throw them all down and say, I give up. Stay optimistic. Okay. So what is this belief? Well, it's way too many. Believe in yourself. See yourself doing well and you will. What is that about for Taurus, please? Believe in yourself for Taurus. Thank you so much. So we have the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. So the Seven of Swords is about self-deceit. It can be lies, deceit around you, uh, running away from a situation. But we do have the Queen of Pentacles here as like the minor of the Empress, King or Queen, Emperor or Empress, doesn't matter. It's like the minor of that energy. So this is believing in yourself, being grounded, um, having value, worth, growth, expansion, stability. And the Seven of Swords is like, don't. Don't run away from your dreams yet. Believe in yourself. Imagine yourself being in this Queen Pentacles energy, very stable and grounded. Growth, expansion, abundant, prosperity. Don't run from that energy and give up just yet. Or deceive yourself that, oh, this is never going to happen because your energy, that energy is right here. So see yourself doing well in this Queen of Pentacles energy, having everything you need, being self-sufficient, independent, Never having to worry about your finances, career, or abundance for the future. Don't run yet because you, if you see yourself in this energy, you will be in that energy. So don't deceive yourself. Don't run from this just yet. All right. So it's telling you to believe in yourself, being your empress-like energy, emperor empress. Happy thoughts. To feel happier right now. Think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. So what is that about? So we have the Fool and we have the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups can be about daydream, illusion, confusion, options, choices, kind of energy. Or it could be about many blessings coming in that you don't see yet. But here's, you know, a lot of happy thoughts too. The Seven of Cups energy. Thinking back, reminiscing about different things in your life. You know, maybe you're feeling confused foggy, daydreamy right now, but, you know, thanking your many blessings, looking back on all those memories of the past, being in a high vibration, and then, you know, will enable you to be in this full energy of taking a leap of faith, resetting your energy back to zero, 
jumping right in, trusting in the universe, trusting in divine energy. And they're telling you to take telling you here to take the sleep of faith and don't be afraid. And just think happy thoughts. And uh, to jump right in here. Only thinking back on happy memories of the past. The Seven of Cups energy here. He's like looking here at reviewing. Right there, so only reviewing the happy times in your life. All right. <clears throat> Grandparent, you have a special bond with a grandparent that can never be broken. What is that about for Taurus here, please? One, two, let's see. So we have the King of Pentacles and we have the Six of Wands. So the King of Pentacles here could definitely be a grandparent of some kind, king or queen, somebody who was very stable, self-sufficient. They might have you know, made a lot of money in their lifetime. They're very stable, grounded, secure, independent. They had a lot of growth and abundance in their life. Someone uh, could be a wise advisor, wise counsel, um, good with their finances, could have been a business owner or something like that. You know, very structured, you know, analytical, practical. And six of Wands is success, victory, accomplishment, um, receiving acknowledgement. So there could be a bond you here have here with someone in this energy. Could be a grandparent or a grandparent-like figure. That can help you in your journey here to help you be successful and victorious here. And this bond can never be broken. And this may also um, strengthen your bond with this person and make it more stable and grounded. I feel like this is you like reaching out saying, hey, you know, can I get some advice and guidance from you? I'm on this journey. I'm embarking on something new. I need some advice, guidance about my finances, my career or something to that effect, and this will help you accomplish what you're trying to accomplish here. Or if it's a, uh, you know, a grandparent that has passed and they were in that energy, reaching out to those who knew them and getting that information and insight on the life they lived will also help you on your uh, endeavor here, Taurus. Wow. Okay, Taurus, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.